This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Good Wednesday morning. I'm Deb Goodrich. Welcome to Around Kansas. I've been pretty busy. I'm sure you have as well. I was in Philadelphia for a week on business and pleasure. It was a wonderful time with dear friends, and I'm going to share some segments with you in the coming weeks that feature some of the adventures I had while I was there. I also spoke, uh, had several presentations actually for Kansas Day. I spoke at the Mitchell County Historical Society in Beloit, and what a treat that was. Kyle and his staff and volunteers and friends and board members were just absolutely wonderful. I was so excited to meet Gail. Actually, I think Gail and I had met before. Gail Pearson and Fred Smith, who along with Kenshu Shimada and our own Mike Everhart discovered a new shark in Kansas. 91 million years ago, the shark that they discovered swam the Inland Sea and they actually made this discovery about a decade ago, but it took a long time for all the scientific um, uh, investigation, I guess you would say, and verification that it takes to declare it is actually a new species. So hats off to them, and we will feature that um, incredible find in some future segments as well. Well, a week from today, <clears throat> excuse me, will be, yes, I have something for every occasion. This is uh, Lincoln, uh, the Lincoln, the Federalist wine featuring Lincoln. Um, I just, I love this. I just actually love this. All right, so a week from today will be the 16th president's birthday and the 30th annual Lincoln Days in Lincoln, Kansas. They would love to have you come join them. On Wednesday, February 12th, there will be a formal dinner in the evening at the Marshall Yoy House there in Lincoln, and I hope to be there. I, I really, really want to make this. Our friend Marla Matkin has created a murder mystery for the evening, and she's creating one for us at Wallace for our, our March 14th Captain Keogh's Emerald Banquet as well. So Marla's all busy with murder mysteries right now. And it's going to be so much fun to um, celebrate Lincoln's history, Lincoln, Kansas history. They have several other events scheduled. I think on Saturday after there will be the screening of the film Lincoln at the theater there and a meal afterwards. And on Monday, there will be, um, that's President's Day, there will be a family day at the museum in Lincoln. So lots of stuff going on. And I'm going to ask Heather if she will share the phone number on screen for you for Village Lines. And that is the shop operated by Marilyn Helmer, who has been organizing Lincoln Days all these years with a lot of help from her friends. So by all means, take advantage of that. You know, these communities work so, so hard on these events. So please support them as, as much as you can and have a good time in a process and, and a great meal. So lots of great stuff coming up. And I also wanted to take just a moment to thank our sponsors. Nothing happens without them. And they're not only our sponsors, they're our friends and neighbors. And so we invite you to support them as well. And if you would like to be a sponsor, just send me a message. In 1821, a trade route was opened from Missouri in the United States across prairies and mountains to Mexico. In 2021, we will mark 200 years of epic conflicts and grand adventures, larger than life personalities and sweeping landscapes. Join us on an historic journey. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Find us on social media or santafetrail.org. Okay, looks like it's time for our tour. Welcome to the Fort Wallace Museum. Here at the museum, you're gonna find some really interesting stuff like our replica stagecoach from the Butterfield Overland Dispatch. We've got facades from the fort buildings. We've got an 1870s flag. There's a plesiosaur that was discovered locally. We've got the Ray Pump Organ Collection. We're a little bee place with a great big story and we'd love to have you. 